Okay, we are looking at question number 22 from chapter 29 of HC Verma. Two identical balls, each having a charge of 2 into 10 power minus 7 coulomb and a mass of 100 gram, are suspended from a common point by two insulating strings, each 50 centimeter long. So here you can see this is your first string and this is your first charge. Second string and second charge, both the strings are 50 centimeter long. Okay, the uh, masses and charge for the two spheres are given. Okay. So charge is 2 into 10 power minus 7 coulomb mass is 100 gram. The balls are held at a separation of 5 cm apart and then released. So the horizontal separation between the balls. This is 5 cm. Okay. They are held in this position and released. The triangle doesn't look really proportional to the length mentioned but that's okay. Uh, we are not worried about the uh, accuracy of the diagram. Okay, so uh, find the electric force on one of the charged balls. So very easy question. So these two charges are separated by a distance of 5 cm. So they will apply electrostatic force on each other in opposite direction. Correct. Electrostatic force will be F. So the first part A is asking the value of this F. So value of F will be K, Q, both have same charge divided by r square so k is how much 9 into 10 power 9 q is how much 2 into 10 power minus 7 so 2 square into 10 power minus 14 divided by r r is 5 centimeter or square of r will be 25 centimeter square that is 25 into 10 power minus 4 meter square we are solving for si units so f will be equal to so 9 into 4 by 25 into 10 power 9 plus 4 13 minus 14 10 power minus 1 so this will be equal to 0 0.144 Newton now the question is asking the components of the resultant force on it along and perpendicular to the string so along the string what is the component now see Along the string, the string cannot stretch, so the mass cannot really move along this direction. It cannot really go away. Okay, it will follow a circular path with a constant radius. So along the string, net force should be zero. It cannot move. Along the string, net force should be zero. So this will be zero. What about perpendicular to the string that we need to find out? So for that, let's just draw the FBD again. I am taking this charge. I am taking this charge. So here I got my tension T. This is the force F and mg downwards. Okay. So first of all, we need to find the angles. So how much will be this angle? Well, let's not take that angle. Let's drop a perpendicular from here. This angle is theta. Okay. So this length will be 2.5 centimeter. So if you see sine theta, sine theta will be 2.5 centimeter by 50 centimeter. So this is actually very small. This will be 0 0.05. Now since sine theta is very small, that means theta is also very small. So sine theta is approximately equal to tan theta is approximately equal to theta and they will all be equal to 0 0.05. Okay, and we will take cos theta to be approximately equal to 1. We will be using these values. So now, coming back to this diagram, we have taken theta uh, with the vertical. So, this angle will be theta. Okay, this is 90. Again, this angle will be theta. So, this is your direction perpendicular to string. So, net force in this direction will be mg sin theta. And here we have f cos theta. So along the string force is 0, but perpendicular to string we have net force mg sin theta minus f cos theta. Okay, this is the net force. So let's put the value of m. So m will be 100 gram. 100 gram means 0 0.1 kilogram. Take g equal to 10. Sin theta will be 0 0.05 minus f is how much? 0. 
so we are getting this to be equal to minus 0.094 why we are getting minus sign because i assumed the net force will be in this direction but since i am getting a minus sign so the net force will be actually in this direction so the particles will still keep on going away from each other okay yes let's put the unit over here 0.094 newton now what about the part c so part c is asking the tension in the string that's very easy again we use the same diagram so along this direction net force is zero so t upwards should balance mg cos theta and f sin theta okay t equal to mg cos theta plus f sin theta so t equal to mg cos theta plus f sin theta put the values m is 0.1 kilogram g is 10 cos theta is 1 plus f is how much 0.144 sin theta is 0.05 so when you simplify this you will get so this will come out to be 1 plus 0.0072 so this is approximately equal to 1 newton only okay we can ignore this tiny term over here all right now uh, i took g equal to 10 uh, uh, 10 meter per second square and that's why i'm getting 1 newton if you take g equal to 9.8 meter per second square then uh, tension will come out to be 0 0.98 newton okay so this is your part c over the acceleration of one of the balls okay the acceleration of one of the balls that's very easy so along this direction net force is zero along this direction net force is 0 0.094 so it's very easy to find acceleration so for the part d acceleration will be net force divided by mass so net force is how much 0 0.094 0 0.094 and mass is 0 0.1 so we get this to be equal to 0 0.94 meter per second square okay this acceleration will be perpendicular to the string okay and in this direction like this